All right, I am back. <clears throat> Just had to get a drink of water there. So what is it? <clears throat> wow, this poor Mr. Saturn. Ultra Saturn attacked using the Natural Killer Cyborg. I think the Natural Killer Cyborg theme is based off of Beat It. <clears throat> so, um, I don't know what this thing's gonna do. Let's just put up our shields first. Um, well, let's just see if, you know, you take damage against... Like, he didn't go. What? Bazooka. Alright. <clears throat> it was worth having our shields up. Hit. Someone has a lot of defense. <clears throat> let's use physical attack up. Beam it. Wow, that does good damage. PK Fire Omega. I didn't do enough. That didn't do a lot of damage. PK Star Storm Alpha. Alright, let's just keep spamming Super Combo with a... Uh, yeah, look at all that damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's just beam him. Bazooka. Oh, not too much damage. Uh, Alright, let's use PK Fire Omega. Well, I only did 91 damage. It's not worth using them. Shoot him. <laughs> does so much damage. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just, uh... Don't really care about... Yeah, PK Fire Omega. <clears throat> Since we have a white mage on the team. Yeah, like, why am I using PK Star Storm Alpha? I can just use that. Oh, you miss both of them? That's actually quite rare that he does. Alright, that actually might be a problem. We charge. <clears throat> Alright, uh, let's just have you beam. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Peek at Thunder. Alright, let's, uh, let's do super combo. Because we have plenty horns of life. They're so good. <clears throat> Let's put Cyberflex up and someone Oops, just hit it. PKB on Psy Magnet. Well, we just got all of our PP back. <laughs> or a lot of our PP. And let's just beam it. Right, super combo. Oh, wow. Totally bodied that boss. Radar bow was in the president's side. Clips. Oh my gosh. This is better than the Starshine bow. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to equip that on. So I think this is that was Colonel Saturn's best bow. Pulse rifle was inside. Okay, um let's check. Pulse rifle. Nope. Nope. Pulse rifle. Hits twice using electricity used by Starman only. Looks to be his best weapon, actually. <laughs> oh, but he gets a major IQ boost <clears throat> from uh, his other weapon. Sabotage the factory. But it'll give off such a nice fire. Let's sabotage the factory. <clears throat> Plan the bomb. Alright, we're... I'll get us out here now. <laughs> okay. Wow. A facility used to uh Yeah, you know, this is the um file six is the file I use to get everything done before like I go to chapter eight. But um yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just save over this. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so... Time to go back to Saturn. Yep, time to go back to Saturn. <clears throat> For a little... Interesting... Thing, you know. 
Yeah, because remember that smile and cheer? <laughs> well, now that Larissa is with us, we can actually go there. Alright, to Saturn it is. <laughs> Yep, land on Saturn. Yep. Alright, Satane so base. Let me just cut to the smiling sphere. Alright, I'm here at the smiling sphere. This is Luis Trump, PK Fire Alpha. This is ooh, it doesn't like that. Smiling sphere became hostile. <clears throat> well, now we can just shoot it. I think it's weak against fire. Yep, definitely weak against fire. Yay. So, um, yeah. The Smile and Spheres also have a chance to drop Meteotite, which ugh, is so good. So, so good. Very good for um, just synthesizing and stuff. Very good. Wow, that enemy is ridiculously fast. Okay. <laughs> Weird. I think those enemies do have a chance to no, they they definitely have a chance to drop the star pendants, which, you know, you want. You can also farm uh star pendants from the flash zap bangs. Yeah, by Lenovar's house. <coughs> Ooh, there's a hyperpod nearby. Ooh, the Mani Mani statue sprite. Not bad. Too bad I'm too strong to know what that enemy is. <laughs> oh man. Canyon bounce was inside. Lenovar takes it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, coming down here. There's actually like a little society of these orbs. But they just kind of mind their own business, though. <laughs> I wish one of them would just give me meat. Never mind, I got one. <laughs> okay. Uh, weird. So these holes, your characters can't fit through these holes. So, you know, you, you clearly see the little bitty yeah, teleporter on screen. So I can just go over there and go to it. And then we go into the one that's bigger. <clears throat> Let me just... Do I, do I really need to heal us at this point? <laughs> You're gonna win anyway. It's like, why? Alright, here's the black one. No question mark. No exclamation. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. The uncontrollable sphere became hostile. So, um, we'll just buff our attacks, and, uh, let's just hit it. Use PK Fire. Nice. PK Freeze Omega do anything good? Oh, I wish. Mmm, didn't do too much damage. That, on the other hand, did. Let's just put up the Cyro Schlecht. Replenish fuel. Yeah, PK Beam Omega animation looks so good. Alright, let's uh, just super combo. He does so much damage. Robo Punch? Nice. PK. Okay, no one died. I'm fine with that. Was <laughs> immune to beams. Or electricity, apparently. So, uh, yeah. Alright, enough. 
So stop fighting for a moment. It's me, the sphere. I'm speaking to you into your mind. I know we've been a pain to you for quite a while now, but we're only now understanding that what we do isn't helpful. Your side's powerful enough to hear me. The others, not so much. <laughs> I'm just recording. Yeah, I am. It's cool though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this fighting is in our nature. When we explode, we create particles that grow into new spheres. Wow. That does not excuse them giving Ness hell in Earthbound, because gosh, those enemies are annoying. Only now do we understand that your species doesn't work the same way, so now I'll teach you a new power to make up for what we've done. Side bolster. And that increases your, um, a partner's side damage output, and then it plays this theme, which is just, yeah. Some of you always like to fight, so do you still want to fight if you want? Nope. Let's not fight. Stranger told us special terms for aliens we couldn't, couldn't communicate with, but we forgot them. I'll show you some things if you'd like. So here you get, um, here you get Meteotite and, yeah, Shine Stone. And you get Psy Stones here too, which that's really good. Yeah, welcome back to my hard mode let's play of Mother Cognitive Dissonance. And it's going to be actually blind. Now, <laughs> it was semi-blind in the last episode, though, with the um, little exploration to Mars, and apparently, you know, freaking spaceships, I mean, apparently, there were more Starmen being made on Mars, and Starmen Deluxes were used to, uh, protect the place, and, uh, yeah, kind of sad if you ask me, but, um, now we're going to Earth so we can go to the moon base and find out what's going on there. Because that's a part I have not explored yet at all. And then after that, I can go fight the, the optional super boss, Fabi Ying. So, uh, yep, here's the moon. Alright. Yes, we're going to land on the moon, and we're going to save too. Ding, file two. Wait just a minute, I almost forgot something. I almost forgot to make the moon shield for Larisse. Yeah, you need scrap metal and meteotite to do it. And you want to do it. And you get the moon shield. Which is really, really good. So it doesn't give as much stat boosts as the Dark Hero Cape, but uh, Auto Shield and Psy Attack Resist for Starman, which, that's so good. That's really, really good. So let's save right now, actually. So now Larisse is one of the bulkiest members on the team, or he is, like, the bulkiest member on the team. So, uh... Alright, let's just put the gem in. Yes, let's insert it. Insert it. Insert it. Insert it. Nice. Alright. Stone of Knowledge. This is using the friend to teach them a new skill. Now, who do I want to use it on? I use it on a Linovar. But you know what? You no, know, I saved before. If I don't like what I did, I can always go back and just do it over. Alright. I'll use it on a Linovar. Let's go with the power of Psy Power. Psy Power. What's that do? Psy Power. And Blue are some of massive stat bonuses. Alright, I wonder how... Alright, it says, hey, this is Niu here. The ship's been blown away by some sort of force field. I'm bringing it back in, but you'll be stranded for a little while. Hold tight, alright? Alright. What enemies are here, and what do they have in store for me? The Gigaborg drew near. Let's just put up a Psy Reflect on someone. 
let's put it up on a Lunavar, because we don't want him getting hurt. Just use PKB my Mega. Let's uh Psy Empower. Let's try this out. On Chrono Saturn. The drill. Wow. Crying beam. Strange beamed. Beamed. Yeah, this just a uh, Pika Star Storm Alpha. Not only did 43 damage. Wow. <laughs> well, that was quick. 24 EXP. Uh, not too bad. Oh. <laughs> Ran right into the wall. Star Miner attacked. Looks like Earthbound Zero's enemies on Mount Aitoy. Whoa, that enemy just died because Mayhem Shotgun just does that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. So, the welcome death by welcome the moon by Commander Gigu's orders. Personal must evacuate immediately. Exclude, designate DE. Dash X not disturb the stone room. Stone room? Don't tell me there's more knowledge stones. <laughs> Alright, so what's over here? This is present. Super fixer nanobots were inside. Is this like an equipped or something? Nope, it's just an item. Super fixer nanobots. I already have one of those. Managed to avoid that enemy. <laughs> Alright, falling further. It doesn't seem like you can uh, come back to this place once you go in. Welcome to the moon capsule transport system. Press shift to warp. Your capsule loves you. Oh my gosh, the tank theme from the first game. <laughs> this is so good. Your capsule loves you. Moon Metal Engine was inside. <laughs> this is for Larisse. Moon Metal Engine. Star Management of Light. But weak ore. So our defense takes a slight hit. Oh my gosh, his speed goes up so dramatically. Oh, the freaking tank theme. Oh my gosh. Wait. This is deactivate Omega unit? I don't know. That probably could come back to bite me in the butt. Well, I can always just restart if I don't like <laughs> if I don't like what I did. Giga Borgen is still hard attacked. Alright, let's just shoot. Something might die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, these enemies give a lot of... Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this? Impossible. What's this over here? Oh, I can't, like, teleport down there. Oh, okay, I can. Deactivate green unit. Do I have to do that? No one... I probably have to. Okay, I'll just... Warp over here. The freaking tank beam. So good. Deactivate the star unit. Yes, let's deactivate them all. Because why not? Okay, so like, how do we get out of the capsule? That's the question. <laughs> Alright. 
Gigaborgs drew near. I guess we can scan them and find out what we're up against. If they don't die. Alright, one of them died. Talk about optimal. Gigaborg. 2,180 HP. He only has PK Beam. The medieval weaponry is there for show. Vulnerable electricity. Oh, so they're just like the ones in freaking Mother 1. Or in Earthbound Beginnings. Or, yeah. Just, just, those enemies in that game are so scary. So, so scary. Brain food launch? What? Alright. Ooh. Spaceship cruise was inside. Deactivate. Your unit? Yep, shutting down. 